So what we're doing today is going to range test the Mavic Air again. Uh, the last time I did it was like stock firmware and also I also tried some little range extender antenna booster things that didn't work so well. So this time I've come to a location where there are no RF signals whatsoever, no power lines, and in fact there's no even phone signal or anything like that either. Um, what I'm going to do is test the Mavic Air just with the very latest firmware on the remote control and the Mavic Air. Um, and then I'm going to run something that allows you to switch over to FCC, um, not the CE transmission rules, which allows for a much stronger transmission signal back and forth to the aircraft. And supposedly, it's what they use in America, so supposedly I would then get much, much further than I did before. So let's start the test off. I'm going to set off, like I say, all stock, and let's see how far we get. So our stock settings, stock Android, um, like I say, new firmware, new upload to the uh, drone, and as you can see on there, um, there was no Wi-Fi signals anywhere around me, it was absolutely barren where I am at the moment, um, and that got to 2,036 metres. So I would say that's a pretty good thing on a actual standard setup. So 2,000 metres is 6 1561 feet now, if I remember last time my test was something like 1900 feet um, like I say I've reset everything that's why it's gone back into uh, metric and not imperial so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my last location where I tested um, the actual Wi-Fi extender all that kind of stuff I'm going to go there and then redo this test to see if I get further than I did last time I think that's a fair test because here when there's no signals around and everything else it could be that the, the lack of interference has led me to get this 2,000 metre range. So I'm going to pack up, drive about half an hour away and try it again. Right, so I'm back in the same location I was um, just a few months ago now when I was range testing these stupid things that connected on that didn't work. Um, but I'm here now just to test the stock firmware um, in the remote control and in the Mavic Air. Um, and let's just see how far we get again. So I'm just going to wait for my GPS lock um, and then we're going to send it up. So as you saw in the other video, I got over 2,000 metres, but I was in the middle of absolutely Dial nowhere. Point has been updated. Please okay. check it on the map. Now, obviously you could argue that I've got civilization around me and power lines and things like that. So let's see how we got on that. So I think that proved the point perfectly by coming back to the same location to compare range tests and things like that because that was an abysmal range test, 300 and something metres. So in the middle of nowhere you can get 2,000 metres, in the middle of places with water, power lines, a slight bit of urbanisation, 200 metres. <laughs> Just beggars belief really doesn't it? So um, what I'm going to do now is do the little hack, go and fly again, same area, See if we get more than 300 meters.
So that just verifies that on the CE settings, as long as there is no interference on the Wi-Fi bands, and you can check that by clicking the little three dots at the top, going clicking on the side where it shows the Wi-Fi symbol, and it'll show you all the available bands on 2.4G and 5G, and then it'll show you the interference, and all the red stuff means that that's a really busy kind of traffic area for that wireless range and therefore it's going to have a problem as it moves around trying to get a great signal if there's no interference there at all or it's all dead green then you know winner winner chicken dinner and you can fly forever but in order to thoroughly test this after flying for you know like say 2000 meters with no problem whatsoever on the straight ec mode the the basic uk mode i thought right okay i'll go back to where i flew last time over the uh, reservoir and i'm going to do two tests i'm going to go straight away in ec mode again see how far i get and then i'm going to do the hack wait for it to say yes your settings have changed and then do the same flight again on fcc mode um, i also tried in another location as well and basically it's marginal <laughs> maybe 10 percent change really so if you are in an area where there's lots of interference it doesn't seem to be beneficial whether you're using ec or fcc mode at all certainly not on my test that i've done anyway what is beneficial is to get the hell out of dodge go somewhere totally remote with no signals around and like I say 2000 meters and more easily possible on your standard ec settings um, I do have a uh, trip coming up to America later on in the year. So obviously when I fly in America, I'll be able to see then in built up areas or not, what the difference is going to be for real without trying to fake this signal. And um, you know, I'll give you an update then. But for now, I really can't see that much of a difference if you're using FCC mode in a built up area, it doesn't really seem to give you any enhancements, certainly from the tests I've done anyway. So until the next time, take care, see you again, bye.